Hi, this is Tim at Pantone. I'm here to give you a quick overview of Pantone Color Manager software. Pantone Color Manager is great for when you want to manage the colors that you use in your design applications. It comes with most of our design tools for free. For instance, if you have a current Plus product, you'll find a registration code on the back page. Simply go to pantone.com slash register, follow the instructions. You'll be able to download the software and start using it right away. Let's take a look at how it works. Pantone Color Manager is always updated with the latest colors. So if we want to load those into our design application, simply go to File, Export, and once you choose your design software, you can choose whether to include LAB color or sRGB color. I'm in Formula Guide coded. I'm going to export that to InDesign in LAB. So simply click here and it has been exported. So let's go into InDesign. Start a new document. So if I pull up my swatches that are available, choose new color swatch. And from the drop down menu, you can see the library that we just exported, Pantone Plus Solid Coded V2 is right here. So a lot of colors in there now, over 1700. And you can either scroll through the list or begin typing them in and it will come right up. Color Manager is also a great tool for building palettes. You can build a palette from an image. Go to File, select New Palette from Image. And let's say I'm creating a brochure for a soccer program. I can choose my image. I'm going to call this Soccer Cover and it's asking me which library I'd like them to be from. I am going to pick from Color Bridge because I'm going to be printing this in four color process. Click OK. And it begins extracting colors from the image. And there you have it. It's extracted the most dominant colors from the image. Say so I really like this blue right here in the sky in this area. I can go ahead, select that, drag it over, and it will create a chip with the closest color match. Then using these colors is simple. Follow the same process. File, export. I'll send them over to InDesign. Because I did these in with the color bridge colors. I now have the option for CMYK. So those are the colors that I'm going to export. And now when I go over to InDesign and go to my colors, you'll see I have soccer cover right here. I have a whole range of all the colors to select from to use in my design. You can also follow a similar process by selecting colors directly, building your own palettes, and exporting them into your software. As you can see, the software is simple and intuitive to use. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.